I'm glad Donald Trump's gone. Now, hear me out. It's not because of his party, politics, or policies. It's because he got in the way of me doing my job for you. Now, prior to President Trump, fake news was the supermarket tabloids with stories like alien Bible found, FBI catches bat child, and I brought Elvis back to life. Well, the term fake news as President Trump used it was simply news about him that he didn't like or news that he didn't want to hear or want you to hear. And whether that news was accurate was irrelevant. Fake news. You know, sometimes in life, things don't go your way. And if you're president, well, those things sometimes get reported. That's not fake news. That's, that's news news. The thing is, though, when the world's most powerful person says the news is fake news, a lot of people are going to believe him. And a lot of people did. My job, our job, the job of journalists is to give you accurate information about the community, city, state, and country you live in so you can make the right decisions for your life. That's it. That's all there is to it. There's no ulterior motive. There's no secret sinister club news folk taking orders from George Soros. We're your neighbors. We live here with you. We're Coloradans. We go to church with you. We send our kids to the same schools as yours. We have the same problems. We drive on the same terrible roads. The plows don't plow our neighborhoods either because they're the same neighborhoods you live in. We work really hard to find out what's really going on so we can tell you about it, help you make sense of it. But if half of you think we are fake news, that really gets in the way of you hearing the information you need to decide who to vote for, how to get the vaccine, which restaurant to avoid because it's filthy. So my hope is that without the constant drumbeat of fake news, fake news coming from the White House, those of you who tuned us out will tune us back in. We'll tell you when a Republican's right and when they're wrong. We'll tell you when a Democrat's wrong and when they're right. Now, accurate news, even when it's what you don't want to hear, is important. It's not fake news. Merman caught in South Pacific. That's fake news.